Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sig Fab and 21 Off-Road. Today we're going to do a hood install like we've never done before. The difference is this material is fully color printed and then we finish it with a stealth matte overlay that protects the print and also helps reduce glare that hits you from light that's bouncing off your hood. Now, one of the downfalls, I guess, of being a business owner and having vehicles for your business is that even though you might like a design, at some point, it's time to move on. It's time to do some other products. I really like this offset stripe, and we actually added that after we did this topological map that we had to remove some of it, this portion, so that we could add the offset stripe. Now, I'm probably gonna remove this so you guys can see the full effect of that color print on clear. It's basically gonna add a design right onto this hood and it's going to look like it was kind of painted on there because you'll see the body paint shine through just like we have on our fuel door overlays right there. Our side sill overlays right there. And here is one that we've done on our Bronco Raptor right there. So pretty much you get to see the paint right under there and the design on top kind of looks like it was drawn into there. What we're going to need for this install is a microfiber. We're going to need some detail spray with no wax. We're going to clean this area up really well. I'm going to go ahead and remove that portion right there. We're going to overlay it on this so you guys get an idea of what happens if you lay it on top of something else. I'm going to use tons of sticker fab fluid. I'm going to get a stool or a small ladder so I can reach that area better. I'm also going to use a felt tip squeegee. So, sticker fab fluid, felt tip squeegee, ladder, microfiber, and detail spray. Let's go get that and meet right back. All right, everyone, I'm going to wing this install because my wife is still asleep. We had a long night last night. I have the vinyl roll right here. Ideally, you'd want to do this as a two person install so they could help you kind of manage this long overlay. Keep it off the vehicle until you're ready to install it. I actually have two bottles of sticker fab fluid here. It evaporates pretty quickly. Did I mention it was 82 degrees? It's really hot. I wish it was a little less humid. We're gonna use this very liberally on the surface here. As I mentioned, this stuff evaporates pretty quickly, which is good and bad. The bad is if it's really hot or there's a lot of sun on the surface here, it's going to evaporate even quicker. But you want this stuff to evaporate once you get your install pretty much ready and everything in place and squeegeed out. The only problem with soapy water is that it tends to stay soapy for a really long time. So it helps you get it in place. but then you just can't get it to stick to the surface because it's so soapy. This is kind of the perfect blend. Again, sticker fab fluid available on our website. So I was really liberal with that on the hood. Obviously, there's my speed wipe that has no wax and my microfiber. So I cleaned and prepped this area pretty well. We'll lay this out. A good thing to do is to lay this out before you install it so it kind of relaxes. The longer it's in the tube, the more rolled up and cylindrical it will become. So we're going to put this on that. Um, what I'm going to do is spray it and kind of flip it over on this paper right now. I'm going to use my newer bottle just so that once the liquid gets a little low, the spray doesn't get a little weird. Because you have to keep it vertical once the bottle gets kind of low on fluid. Let me zoom out a little so you can see this. As I'm peeling it back, I'm spraying. And there's not much wind today, which is a good thing. I'm sure throughout this install you can see how a second person might help. It is a good idea to clean your whole hood, especially if you're going to be working and using the entire area. I'm going to try to back this off all the way and then 
I will gently pull it back on to this. The stick of fat fluid is great in the sense that if it is a little windy and this material folds back on itself and you have the stick of fat fluid applied to it, it's not going to permanently stick, at least not immediately. Again, being super liberal there, making sure that the hood is still pretty wet. I won't say this turns a beginner into an experienced person, but it really does help versus going dry. Make sure my squeegee is in a good area. And then I'm going to grab this, kind of fold it in half gently. I'm going to lay it on the hood. Put it in the general vicinity of where I should be. Or I think I should be and then I'll go on the other side, grab it. See if I can zoom back in a little bit. Wouldn't hurt to have stools or something on both sides. You can see how uh, kind of rough I'm being with this. It's actually really forgiving. Now I can see that I'm too far over on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the other side and pull it back. And again, because I have this fluid on here, it's not a very difficult task to accomplish. Probably pulled it a little bit too much now, so I'll go back over, give it a quick tug. Again, you can see why having two people would help our situation out a bit here. Now I feel like I'm a little down on this side. So I'll pull it up. We'll put it over the back edge just a little bit. Once you become satisfied with alignment, that's when you're going to start squeegeeing it and no earlier. So kind of get a look from the front, left and right side. If you're happy with that, the front, the back side, go ahead and start squeegeeing it. Now, I'm going to do this gently from the center. I'm going to push to my side a little bit. push some of it out the other way. Even and consistent here. We do have something there. I could peel it back and grab that little speck. Again, that's another thing that the Sick of Fat Fluid helps you do. It's kind of like applying a screen protector. You can peel it back, spray a bunch, and kind of pick that out with your fingernail. I'm just going to leave it there. We'll probably change this out again later. Take note of everything in this video. Take note of the temperature that I told you it was. Don't apply this when it's really cold. The material doesn't handle very well. Don't apply it in direct sunlight. That sticker fat fluid is going to probably dry out too fast. Small strokes and then longer ones. So this is the first time that I've actually seen this on the vehicle myself. And I'm already loving it. I am probably going to get that ladder and come back over here to make sure I have adequate leverage. Okay, now here it looks like, which I know what that was. This is our first print. There was a slight defect in there. So I'm not going to pull up and try to pick that out. I know exactly what that was. This is our first print this large ever. Now, where I'm going over this, the offset stripes, because that's raised, it develops little channels where the water hides. Be sure if you're going over anything, like previous vinyl, that you get as much of that out 
naturally it will dry by itself, but if you want to get it out a little quicker, just give that part a little bit more attention. My vinyl's not sliding around any because I've pretty much done small strokes and then gone to larger strokes. Of course you can push the liquid out either way out of any corner. I have to run down these channels right here. We're just getting stuck on this. And then for any edges that are up, I'll let it dry for a while and then I'll use heat and come back and make sure those adhere. You can wrap it around the back side of the hood, that's no issue. Let me get this dried up and then I will give you guys a once around on that. Alright, there you guys have it. That's our install of our stealth map for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. Now that the sun is coming up, you can see the difference between the stealth and the gloss paint. Still have some drying off to do. See what that looks like from inside the vehicle. See that stealth there again in the gloss. So please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for the 2021 and up for Bronco.